slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. I've got ace five, and after button raises to 15, you know what? Since this is my meetup game, let's put more money in that pot because it's my party. I can raise it if I want to. So I bump it to 45, and he calls. And this flop makes me think of John at our home game, who once told me he's 55 and a half years old. Hey, John, you're a grown man. Quit counting the halves. Also, quit cold calling three bets with 8-7 offsuit. Anyway, I bet 30, and Button has different plans. And Button shows pocket threes. Pocket threes. I think I'm in love with you. Okay, Button, not sure if you noticed, but this is my meetup game. How dare you? You have the gall to not only show up to my house with my threes, but shove on me with an underpair? I put you on these two. Oh yeah? Well, Ace King would have won too. I repeat, this is my meetup game. It's where I raise over your raise with a suited wheel ace and drill the flop. And where my fans honor me by doing this. <laughs> And while it's unclear what this is, I am pregnant. I've got ace queen raised to 15 and get one caller. After this ace high flop, I bet 15 and he raises to 45. While I get the vibe that I could be mostly dead, I do call once. And after this turn, I check. He cuts out 65 and nah, not this time. And sure, technically I lose the hand, but I am HO, I win the hand. Can't have ace king. Pocket fives? I knew it. That's right. This is my meetup game where I make good reads and disciplined folds and where my super fans go the extra mile. All the way in from where, New Jersey? New Jersey. Just for me, right? Just for you. Came just to see you from New Jersey. He's not here to visit his son. What do you do with my son who lives in LA? All for slow poker. Wow, the dedication. Sorry, I know the sound quality makes that conversation almost inaudible, so here it is with captions. All the way in from where, New Jersey? New Jersey. Just for me, right? Just for you. Came just to see you from New Jersey. He's not here to visit his son. What do you do with my son who lives in LA? All for slow poker. Wow. I've got King 10, raise over a straddle to 20, and get called by the small blind and by my new friend, Scott. After this flop and two checks, I could bet range, but instead check. Because, one, I live in constant fear of Jack 10, and two, Scott is not only a fan of my show, but we've become poker pen pals. So Scott and I have become all too familiar with each other's tendencies, including that Scott loves to start blasting once he smells blood. So let's drip a drop on the felt and see what happens. And that happens. Small blind checks and Scott bets 40. Now, usually I'd raise here for value and protection, but Scott always roasts me when I do that on my show. So this time I take his advice and slow play. And luckily this river changes nothing. And also luckily Scott pots. Good thing I spilled a little blood on the table cause you know what's on the table now? These nuts. I've told you countless times it means the best possible hand. No. So you may wonder, how much will I raise? And the answer may surprise you. I don't know about rig. I want to ask a question, but I, want... I call. You have a 10, right? Oh, shit. Okay, I win. <laughs> I was going gonna... to I... I know all of you out there are also laughing and saying, what the fuck? But hear me out. I was going to ask a question. You weren't going to call a raise, were you? A rig question. If I shove and you call and we both chop the pot, is it more rake or no? Someone someone gave me shit for that one time. They were like, what are you doing? We clearly chopping the pot like it's more rake. No. Oh, it's, it's flat? Seven dollars. <laughs> it was a bad just call by me. Not that he's calling. He obviously had to 10 if I raise me. I know that's why I just called too, because I was just like, I don't know the answer to the question, and I know you're not calling a, a raise. Look on your face, your price is stuff. Well, look on your face. But no, I don't have a time. <laughs> really? You just called? You could be ranting online. I can't believe how rude that is. Just calls me. It doesn't even put me to the test with a min click. What a jerk. Never meet your heroes. No, Scott, it's okay to meet your heroes, just so long as you gift wrap your heroes $200. Also, Scott, you, of all people, should know by now, this is my meetup game. It's where I trap you into firing twice into the nuts, and where we do... Shots, shots, shots. 
shots, shots, shots. Or where everyone else does shots, 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 shots. Since I'm 40 something and a half years old and just flew across the country, and if I have a sip of whatever's in those cups, I'm dead. Like Scott in that hand. Scott Slam! And now, the new miniseries, hashtag nofo, as in no footage, sorry. I've got kings, and my camera, DGAF. In any event, I raise to 25 over some limps and get two callers, including the Rook, who tells me at the outset of this whole event, I'm pretty new to poker, but I'm so blinded by the kings that I completely forget that remark. And after this flop, I bet and get called by the Rook. And after this trivial turn, I bet again and he calls again. And this river shouldn't change a thing. And I could check, but he's a rookie, so he may think that a hand like Ace-10 is good, and I'd never forgive myself if that's all he's got. So whether for value or or as a bluff, I'm all in. He thinks, winces, and reluctantly calls with exactly what you think he's got. Mm. Aces, really? I may not have said so yet, but this is my meetup game. Here, of all places, you're supposed to raise preflop, and then I raise again, and then you raise again, and I hero fold king's face up, and the whole casino erupts into applause. Not this post-flop do -si do bullshit, cause maybe you don't know poker, but you know this guy folds kings. Tell my family. I fold the kings. You already did, you told everyone. Uh, and just remind them every couple weeks. So shame on you. This is my meetup game. It's where I can immediately intuit when my kings are behind and where I can immediately intuit what some rando's gonna say to me before he even says it. What did you just tell me? I just told Slow Poker that he looks like someone but I didn't say the exact name. And then, but then you said, I, I, mean this, the I mean this is a compliment. I mean it is a compliment. Should, should we count a th on three? Yeah. Uh, after three. Okay. One, two, three, Nathan Fielder, yep. See, at my meetup game, I simply have uncanny intuition. It's not because anyone else has ever told me I resemble Nathan Fielder. I just don't see it. I've got queen 10, raised to 20 over a straddle, and button, min raises to 40. Come on, button. You're a slow poker fan. You know good and well I don't fold to a min raise. So whatever happens next, it's on you. After this flop and a check from me, he bets 40, and I almost check raise since my card's coming, but I don't want to stack one of my fans, at least not yet. So I just call, and this turn means I've got the nuts, 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 nuts on the table. I check, he bets 50, and I check jam. He sighs and folds what he later tells me was ace jack. You guys, I can't stress this enough. This is my meetup game. I'm probably not gonna lose. I mean, would you lose at a game where while the dealer pushes you hundreds of dollars, she's looking at a poster of your face? No, you wouldn't. So don't f with me. If you actually like kind of remember who they are, but I'm gonna show you a picture of them. I'm gonna show you two pictures. They're live pictures. Like I can put them in front of you right now. Go ahead and put them in front of them and let them see. Do you know these guys? Because if you do, I need you to sign off. <laughs> okay, I just said don't fuck with me. And yet you're trying to trigger my missing pocket king's PTSD? This means war. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Well played, you're forgiven. Where are my kings? Now, I don't start recording until midway through this preflop action, but trust me when I say that short stack raises to 25, he calls, he calls, he squeezes huge to 200, shorty commits his stack, and he calls, at which point, Lojack has a decision. Come on, join the club. I want to. <laughs> uh, I join it. Wow. Yes, word. Wow. <laughs> I got something. But what something does he have? That's the question. After this flop and a check, the guy with something bets 200 and cut off wastes no time. All in. All in. Uh, All in Shoot. But wait, because we're just getting warmed up. A full house. Oh, wow. Oh, full cool. house. Yeah, no full house. Yeah, the club? full house. I got nothing. Okay, hold on. Cut off jammed with King High on that flop? And it took him that long to notice he had the winner? But above all, we're at Hustler Casino, mere days after the Robbie Jade Lou poker scandal that happened at this very spot. 
This guy didn't overvalue Jack 4. He didn't even have Jack 4. He didn't have the Robbie. He had Robbie's little sister. Bro, must I card explain? Here's how you play the Robbie. I've actually got Jack 4. This guy raises. The red chip poker fun police advises a fold, but I three bet anyway. He four bets, and I five bet jam, and suck out on pocket aces. Okay, fine. IRL, I three bet, he four bet, and I folded face up like a coward. I may want to be Robbie, but I ain't Robbie. What are you wearing? Still, I can wield my cards however I choose because it's my meetup game where I'll play the Robbie just to fuck around and find out and then give up and never find out. Let's run it back. Sure, why not? Be there on November 4th for Slow Poker Meetup Game 2, Electric Boogaloo. Sign up now at Poker Atlas, or just show up at Hustler Casino this Saturday. And this time we're running a special promotion where the first 10 fans through the door get to post my big blind. And then a hero comes along. And now, an even newer miniseries. My eyes are getting weary. My back is getting tight. I've got queens, raised to 15, and get four callers, including one of my many illegitimate poker YouTuber children, Branson. Good flop for queens, go! Oh baby, Branson checks in a subtle way. Sure, Branson. I check, button bets 20, Branson check raises to 80, and I've only got one option. Moment. I keyed, I keyed. Oh, well played, Branson. You called from the small blind with two cards and flopped a flush. Bravo. But you know what? This ain't your meetup game. It's my meetup game. And I hate folding queens on my day. So you can just take your 7-6 and shove it straight up your... Aww. No, no. You're not getting out of this one with that allegedly authentic winning smile. You may look like a nice guy, but it's my meetup game, where contractually speaking, I can eat your face. I've got queens. My eyes are getting weary. My back is getting tight. Don't be shy, queens. Come on out, like in the center of the frame. Oh, they're shy. Aw. Scott raises to 30 over a straddle. Button calls. I raise to 125, and straddler grips it and rips it. I snap call, and while that run out for queens is pretty, pretty good, didn't need it, as she had ace queen. Ace queen? Lady, I'm slow poker. You think I'm three betting from the big blind with a hand worse than ace queen? Maybe you didn't know that this is my meetup game? Did you think it was someone else's? Like my mentor slash modesty coach, Nick Airball. No, it's my meetup game where I stack the uninformed and where a fan asks for a selfie and it looks like she's on my lap, but in reality, she's short and I'm tall and she's standing and I'm sitting, so it's an optical illusion that only makes it look like she's on my lap. No more meetup games. I've got queens. My eyes are getting weary, my back is getting tight. And my new friend Sam raises to 15. I raise to 45, and Sam says, I think I'm supposed to give him content for his loss. A line that's now become the driving force behind my biggest poker losses. It's the poker vlogger cross I bear. I don't like this flop, but I bet anyway, and Sam calls. This turn checks around, and this river checks around, and we all know how this story ends. I'm not mad, Sam. You caught me in a good mood, because, as you read in the papers, this is my meetup game. Plus, if I've gotta give 80 bucks to anyone, let it be someone who, like me, is a die-hard Jacksonville Jaguars fan, but unlike me, has no ties to Jacksonville? You are an enigma. And someday we'll read about you in the papers. I've got queens. My eyes are getting weary. My back is getting tight. Raised to 15, everyone folds. Cause this is my meet- Ah, eh, forget it. I've got queens. My eyes are getting weary. My back is getting tight. He raises, then I raise, then he calls, then this flop, then I bet, then he calls, then this turn, then I bet, then he jams, then I call. Oh. For the last time, this is my meetup game, where I ain't buying whatever you're selling, and where, joking aside, I'm truly grateful to all the incredible fans who made this event so much fun and so special. And for all these chips, the very chips that I'll quickly shunt right back into the poker ecosystem. Easy come, 
Easy go. And that'll do it for episode 24 of Slow Poker. Three quick reminders. One, hit that notification bell. Just do it. Two, enjoy my shorts. So many new shorts. And they're short. And three, be there in LA this Saturday. Or don't. And from your deathbed, you'll look back and be all shit. Until next time, this has been Slow Poker. Nuts, 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 nuts on the table. You belong to an HOA. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.